fully assembled the entire back end is now put together do you guys like it What's going on guys welcome back so a little bit about me my name is Don I'm 33 years old I'm originally from Tampa Florida I live now in eastern Tennessee with my wife Jennifer her and I have been together for about five or six years we've only been married for a few years um, her and I own a nice big old house up in the mountains um, I love it it's great it's three bedroom two bath we have a two car garage which I have turned into my workshop um, her and I both run a hotel she is the general manager and I am the FOM which is front office manager um, and that's what we do to make our money and we make really good money doing it about 2004 2005 era was when I was really big into RC cars um, I used to work for Hobbytown USA <clears throat> I was the lead mechanic and then since I was so good at working on RC cars and fixing them they put me on the race team and I could also drive really well too so I was on the Hobbytown race team and I did that for two years uh, I've owned probably 15 to 20 different cars in my lifetime. Uh, I was real big into nitro. I had an RC10 GT. Uh, I had a Traxxas uh, slash four wheel drive and I had the low center gravity chassis and all that when that came out. I had a TC3 and I had a TC4 which is associated touring cars, uh, four wheel drive touring cars. Um, and then I'm real big into Tamiya. I have the Tamiya Grasshopper, the Tamiya Claude Buster, the Tamiya Frog, the Tamiya Hornet. I had all of that stuff. Um, and then what happened is life kind of threw me a bone and I basically had to shelf the RC car stuff. And then the shelf turned into a couple of years and then I was like, you know, I have all of these RC car stuff, I'm tired of moving the boxes around, I'm tired of dealing with it, um, so I, I sold it all off. Um, about eight years later, here we are. Um, I've been doing computer videos the entire time. That's what my channel's been built on, is computer videos. And then graphics cards and other computer prices are just stupid. It doesn't make any sense to build a computer right now to even talk about computers. And I was I was just fed up with it. Too much money wasted on nothing. So I decided to buy this Arma. I decided to get this Crichton. Uh, it was about 800 bucks, and then I had about a thousand dollars left over that I went ahead and dropped into the parts and all of the things that you guys currently been seeing. So that's just kind of the backstory. Um, since I've started with the RC car uh, on my channel, our views have gone up. Um, within a 24 hour period, I'm exceeding way more views than I've ever exceeded on the channel. And comments, I've never had a video and I went back, let's say, seven hours later. Usually if I went back seven hours later, I would have like four or five views. It usually took about four to five days before my videos would get about 50 views. Now, 
my videos are getting 30 views within the first two hours of the video being up and I really appreciate you guys there is a lot of new people that I've never seen before or have any interaction with that are coming to my channel they're just now finding me which is awesome and I appreciate that so much because without you guys you know none of this stuff would would even make sense cheers so anyway I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a backstory of, of who I am and what I've done um, I am a college graduate I do have a bachelor's degree um, I don't know, I like RC cars. They're challenging, they're fun, they're very engineering. You know, I can do everything that I can do with a car, I can do with an RC car. It just doesn't take up my my entire garage. You know, these shocks aren't the size of the table. You know, they're just smaller, they're more compact. True, I can't drive them, but I get a lot of thrill and a lot of fun out of playing with them, you know? Really do. These are the stock uh, hinge pin holders for the car if I would have known that they were actually metal I never would have spent the money on the upgraded ones I thought that these were all plastic that's the reason why I did that but no they're actually metal with a plastic housing over them to like protect them so this is what we're doing today check it so this screw screw I need to quit saying that I work with wood too much this bolt is stripped. I hate Allen wrench. It will not come out. The, it's just, I know, hold on, let me make it. It's just, it's like, it just won't come out. So, you have two options. Either one, you can use a heat gun and try heating it up to loosen it and then grab it with like a pair of pliers or something and try to twist it out or you can go with plan B. Plan B requires a Dremel tool. What you do, and this works with anything, any screw, bolt, anything that is stripped out, you can use this method to get it out. What you do is you cut a line right through the middle of the head of the bolt or the screw. Dremel tool and you cut a line right through the middle of the screw. You then you take, I'm gonna use this flat head to get it out. Watch. Hold on. Look at that. Awesome. That is how you get a bolt or a screw that is stripped out that is how you get it out here look at this y'all look 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 Ooh, my god it's beautiful oh you're so beautiful look at this look all right from what y'all been telling me these gpm arms are cheap yeah they were it was like 20 bucks for those but they're also you know good eye candy too so and I don't plan on like taking my truck off of like 10 foot jumps and stuff like that is that's not me I don't really bash my truck that hard I don't I don't do donuts with the truck I don't drive the truck when it's raining or there's wet outside water is a horrible idea for your truck man it gets into the bearings into all the little things and rust and nope you, you just don't want to deal with wetness it's it's a bad idea ah uh, let's see here so I kind of started to put it back together just a little I wanted to see if we were going to have any type of issues of clearance or if any of these just any kind of little issues the bar this aluminum bar it is I mean like I'd say a playing card thickness too much a little too much it's pushing on the bulkhead because it's in place but it's too long it's pushing on the bulkhead and it won't allow me to line the bolt up that runs through here it just it won't do it so what I'm gonna have to do is probably 
take that out and grind it down just like a hair. I mean, it is, it's a pretty snug fit. See, there, there should be just a little bit of clearance behind that. I mean, you can tell that it's not lined up. See how this is way over here. You can see, see the channel, this, this part here, it should be lined up perfect and it's not it's way over here that's because this thing's too long it's pushing everything it's jacking it all up and then if I take the center mount this thing it don't fit either see it, it doesn't want to go in that slot so that will also have to be kind I'll have to like sand it down just a little just a hair I do have the aluminum piece coming, but I have no idea when that will be here. And may I say, on a mental note on the side, this is gonna look awesome. Here, oh, we were little discussion in the comments there on the last video that these arms may not work. The lower hinge pins may not line up with this. I am proud and happy to report that so far, it does line up. It does match. I was a little bit concerned because at first, it didn't line up. None of it was lining up. This part here, I have to get underneath there. I'll have to take that piece off and get it up underneath there and then latch it into place. And hopefully that will be the end of that. But if you look, doesn't it look good with the blue and the black and the anodized and the graphite? It's going to look amazing. Assembled, the entire back end is now put together. Do you guys like it? Tell me it looks slick. I know it looks slick. Y'all like that, right? Man, does it look good. It is going to look phenomenal. Yeah. That aluminum and carbon fiber look. Man, it looks good. Oh, by the way, these, they don't fit. Even though they're 17 millimeter, they don't fit. Don't buy them. Yay, something else that I bought that's a waste of money. But yeah, it looks good. It looks damn good, nice and even. Yeah, boy. Awesome. Well, hydride batteries in them. Nickel metal hydride. Um, none of these lipos, man. Lipos weren't around, dude. It just, it, it wasn't a thing. Um, you know, lipos uh, just, they weren't around at the time. Uh, you know, if somebody ran eight cells... If somebody ran eight cells in their battery, you know, they were, they, it was like a ooh and an ah. Um, nitro was real big. I was into nitro cars. That's mainly what I used to deal in was nitro cars.